Hi guys, well it's an exciting day today. Uh, we have SUPS, inflatable stand up paddle board. One of the things that we're really looking forward to on the Great Loop is exploring little anchorages and uh, different areas that you just can't get to by big boat. And so uh, having sold our big boat here in Portland, Oregon, uh, we have uh, kind of a need to reconnect with the water as a family. And so uh, we picked up these uh, Body Glow Performer 11s. And so uh, I wanted to do an unboxing and just show you what uh, you've got here. And then also take you through a little bit of uh, why I selected these for our family. So let's get into it. So these particular ones uh, I got through Costco. Uh, I did a lot of research and a lot of shopping and one of the reasons that I uh, ended up with these is uh, we are novice paddle boarders. Uh, this is not something that uh, we have a ton of experience with and this is rated very uh, well for that. Uh, also their return policy makes it so that uh, if something doesn't work out here in the next uh, few outings with them, uh, it's just not a fit for our family that uh, we can uh, just return them, uh, no questions asked. Uh, so that was another appeal. Uh, I'll link below to this one and then a bunch of the other ones that we had considered. Uh, these are on the low end of price and uh, capabilities. Uh, one of the other things I really liked about it is kind of this more uh, pointed uh, nose on it uh, that cuts through the wakes a little bit more. Uh, wherever we'll be, there'll probably be boats cruising around. It's not absolutely flat water. And so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we've also got on these a, a tow hook. So we'd be able to pull it behind a dinghy or that kind of a thing, uh, which is nice. Uh, it's got a cargo area here up front, a uh, nice paddle that it comes with, three fins on the bottom, the leash, everything that you need to really get going. So uh, let's unbox this guy and see what we've got here. Uh, first is the repair kit. Some instructions, a little waterproof bag for keeping your phone in. The leash. This is what keeps the board attached to you as you're paddling along. Paddle itself. And here we go. So we've got this really nice bag that it comes with. A little zippered pouch on the front and then uh, Good hand holds everywhere and it's a nice backpack so for getting you to and from the water uh, just load this up it's got nice padding here so you don't hurt your back and a nice uh, waist belt uh, to help you out uh, that's one of the uh, real things I, I really read about that I was exciting about this particular model I think this uh, weighs in at 24 pounds uh, which is about as much as I want to carry on my back, and we'll see if a kid will actually do it. Uh, a nice strap to keep it rolled up inside here, and then two straps inside the backpack to kind of keep it contained. It's a little oversized, so you don't want it flopping around while you're walking. Again, real happy with the backpack bag that it comes with. Okay, and here we go. Uh, the stuff itself. Alright, here uh, we've got those three fins that are on the underside here, and these are permanently attached. I thought that was better than having a, uh, ones that are removable. Uh, they say this doesn't harm it to be rolled up with these like this and shoved into that backpack, uh, whereas some recommend removing fins. Uh, they would just fall off and get lost. We got kids. Uh, that's just how life is. So uh, let's get this unwrapped and uh, uh, assembled and see how it inflates. Inflation valve here on the end. 
And then, let's uh, open up the inflator. So dual action inflator. Dual action means that it's going to inflate on the pull and the push. Uh, it also has a single action mode uh, for uh, the very end when it's harder to push as you get to the end of your inflation. Attach the hose. Rubber band there. And we just make sure the valve is in the inflate position and hook this up. Okay, so we got that. Now, dual action mode. Let's inflate this guy. Now, once it starts to get hard to inflate, you can switch it to single action mode. We've got a pressure gauge here on the top of the handle. And so right now we're at, uh, oh, I don't know, something like seven PSI. Inflation pressure is 15 PSI. So now we go to single action. It only inflates on the downstroke. And there we are, 15 PSI. Just remove the hose, screw in the cap. And there we have it. Body glove, Performer 11, paddleboard. Pointed end, 11 feet long, 34 inches wide. So it's a wider one than uh, uh, typical would be like 33, pretty nice. Take you through a couple of the features here. Uh, again, we've got the uh, three fins for good tracking. Nice solid board when it's inflated. Uh, from the back here, at the leash attachment point, the inflation valve with the cap on it. I really like the non-skid uh, soft foam grip here. Uh, this is the paddle that comes with it. Got a couple of uh, D-rings here for attaching a cooler here in the back end, uh, which is super nice for strapping whatever gear that you're going to sup with. Uh, here is the carry handle. It's nice. It's padded. It's cushioned. It also carries the paddle. It's also big enough to accommodate a water bottle uh, or a growl or a beer in my case. And then coming forward, in case the cooler in the back and the uh, handhold didn't do it for you, you got more gear, life jacket or that kind of thing. Uh, cargo area front, GoPro mount, we'll be testing that out a little bit later. And then again the uh, towing, uh, you can take a ski tow bar, hook it onto that and then tow it behind a boat up to 8 or 10 miles an hour. So there you have it guys, the Body Glove Performer 11. Uh, we're going to take them out now to the river and see how we do.
Hi guys, well, uh, quick update. This is my third trip out and these paddle boards are just awesome. Absolutely loving them, happy with the purchase. Uh, thanks for joining, have a good one.